approach has been taken, as Lisa Dowd reports. About another half metre or so. Every call out brings yeah. these volunteers a fresh challenge. Is that nice and smooth? Yeah. Not feeling any bumps. This was New Year's Day. A woman had fallen on ice at Chrome Hill near Buxton and had to be stretchered down. Now the same team has been asked to help with the vaccination effort. We all want to get back to normal. We want people to get out in the hills. We want people to enjoy it. But at the moment, we can't. The sooner we get the vaccine out to people, the sooner we can return to normal. And that's what we want, you know. Everybody wants to get back out and, you know, we want to do our bit to help, so we're really pleased. Whatever the weather, they'll help people get to their appointment. One of their team lost his brother to COVID. Just a few weeks earlier, uh, there was two 60-year-olds having a pint in the pub. And that's the last time I, I saw my brother alive. You know, that's a bit of a bit of a shock, really. Wherever you are, the Prime Minister wants a vaccination centre within 10 miles of your home. And home is where the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh had their first doses at Windsor Castle. The Queen deciding that the public should know. In Bristol, this stadium is one of seven mass vaccination sites in England getting ready to open. Of course, not everyone can get to a city centre and it wouldn't take much more snow to cut off a village like this in the Peak District. So there's this army of volunteers in remote locations making sure that nobody misses out on their vaccination. Dorothy welcomes the help. That's another thing that you're always thinking about when you've got appointments, whether you're going to be able to go with the weather, you know. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed with the vaccination that I can get there. This team will do all they can to make it happen in this unprecedented effort to beat the virus, whatever the challenges. Lisa Dowd, Sky News, Derbyshire.